My name is Dietmar Thomas. I'm communication specialist for Philips LumiBlade. Philips LumiBlade is the OLED lighting technology at Philips. And we are here at the LumiBlade Creative Lab in Aachen. That's our center for open innovation on OLED lighting. OLED, uh, by the way, stands for organic LED. It's actually the first light source ever, which is a complete surface light source. All other light sources uh, which have been on the market since ages are point light sources, starting with the flame, with the candle going up to the light bulb and uh, to the high-powered LED. So for the first time, uh, people don't need a system to spread the light. Uh, the system is, so to say, built in. In the room behind me, you see some of the products which have been designed here at the Creative Lab uh, by famous designers like uh, Jason Bruch and Tom Dixon. Next to me there's uh, Jason Bruch's Mimosa imitating flower heads opening and closing. In the far background you see our interactive wall, co-designed by Random International, the artist consortium in London. Everything we are showing here is already on the market and is uh, sought after by many designers and architects. OLED have many other features which are very different to other light sources. For example, they are extremely thin, just 1.8 millimeters at the moment, going even below the millimeters very soon. The people we have worked together say this is actually not a light source, it's, it's more a material which emits beautiful light. OLED will open up completely new ways where light can be introduced to the customer. For example, integrated in furniture due to the fact that the OLEDs are not getting very warm. We are talking about 30 degrees centigrade maximum. OLEDs can also be used with straw or paper, a material which has been a no-go for any other light sources like LED because those light sources are getting so hot that there is the danger of fire. Just imagine windows where uh, transparent OLEDs are integrated. So during the day the sun shines into the room and in the evening you're not switching on the ceiling lamp or the wall lamp, but instead you're switching on the window. If you see the backlights of cars today, they use rows of LEDs stacked to each other in order to make a surface light source. Now comes the OLED, which is a surface light source. So the designer of the car comes to us and says, okay, I want to have the OLED in exactly this form and color and we can produce that. And the advantage is even more, not only the design freedom, it's also the construction freedom because OLEDs are just 1.8 millimeters and the rest can be used either for more space in the booth, for example, or to make the car shorter. In the far future, let's say five, ten years from now, is that you paint the wall with a color where OLED is mixed into it. So you paint the wall and when you apply a current to it, the whole wall lights up in a nice ambient lighting. So the future is really unbelievable. With such installations like the one behind me flickering, it's very important that you have to have a system to replace OLEDs in case something breaks and that you don't see that this OLED is new when it's replaced. So we have found a way to actually make brand new OLEDs look the way the old OLEDs look. That's not possible with LEDs because with LEDs you always see that there's a new LED in there. They are always brighter than the rest of the installation, not with our OLEDs. We have found a way and that is very appreciated by our customers like designers and architects. There are three things which are going to happen with OLEDs. They're getting larger, they're getting brighter, and they're getting more efficient. At the moment, the maximum size we can offer to our customers is roughly 12 by 12 centimeters. But in the future, we will see a square meter of OLED, which you can easily integrate into uh, the ceiling or any other material. The square meter costs between six and 7,000 euros. But we expect a price drop to below 1,000 euros a square meter within the next years. I expect the OLEDs to be in the mass market within the next five years, so everyone can buy OLED systems at IKEA, for example.